Good morning and welcome to a brand new week on. So as you can see by the mountain of products that surrounds me, I'm going to be doing a supermarket specific week on. It's been a while since I've done a supermarket specific week and I'm really looking forward to this one. This is a week on Aldi. So for the next seven days, I'm going to eat nothing but products that you can buy in Aldi, which is not something crazy. A lot of people shop in Aldi. It is a relatively new supermarket that's popped up in the UK. It's probably only been around for the last 10 years or so, but it is certainly, along with its brother Lidl, making a, uh, a bit of a shake-up in the supermarket scene because they are known for being very cheap and a lot of people shop there. So I'm interested to try a lot of the products that Aldi have over several different ranges. And, and they are also known as, uh, as being a little bit cheeky with their products and uh, having a lot of their branding being quite reminiscent of other existing branding. So we'll check those out and we'll see how they compare to their originals. Hmm? So I'm looking forward to it. There is a lot of tasty stuff here. I've got my week's supply of food. I'm very hungry. It is breakfast time. This is not a weight loss week on. So don't expect me to be like, oh, well, there's a lot of calories in that, and oh, that's a bit fatty. So uh, I'm basically just going to be eating the stuff. I will do the weigh-in uh, purely so we can see how all this tasty stuff works out. But I'm excited because look at it. Look at this mountain of food. There's something there called groovy biscuits. It's at the top of the pile, so I'm not going to touch it because that is very much a Jenga pile of food. Like, if I wobble this, look at that. that. That is a wobbly tower of deliciousness. Hopeful potential deliciousness, anyway. But, right. No time uh, wasting any point. Said that completely wrong. Let's jump on the scales and see what we're working with. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Lockdown continues to be indulgent. Right, week on Aldi commences. Let's get some breakfast. What's this? Porridge, I see. However, oh dear, the ingredients appear to be Tesco. No, no, I am, of course, having something I've got from Aldi. A triple pack all-day breakfast. Look at that. That is the biggest pack of sandwiches I've ever seen. And it has in there bacon, sausage and egg, sausage and egg, and bacon and egg. So it's every possible combination that they could have come up with. Uh, it looks really nice. Big chunky sausage, nice bacon. We'll see about the egg. Right, let's crack this bad boy open. And there's different breads as well, like brown malted bread and white bread. Marvellous. Right. We've got to try this one, haven't we? The one with everything. Yum, 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 yum. Well, looks nice. Ooh, the sausage smells nice and herby. Right. Mmm. That is a good sandwich. That is a good sandwich. Mmm. Sorry, there's a lot of chewing going on. Egg not too eggy. Bacon. Nice and salty. Sausage is very herby. I like a herby sausage. That is very nice. Mmm. Right, let's quickly try. Let's try the one with the white bread, eh? Let's try the one with the white bread. This is sausage and egg on its own. Mm. Missing that salty hip. Don't talk with your mouth open, kids. What a glorious day it is outside. Look at that. You wouldn't even know it was August. If you've never been to Aldi before, it can be quite a strange and daunting experience, really, um, because they don't do supermarkets as the UK expects a supermarket. Of course, we've acclimatised to Aldi over the years, but essentially you go in and uh, you have your fruit and veg and meat and cereal and uh, bread, etc, etc, but then down the middle you have the very famous middle aisles and you could get something as random as a screwdriver set, a wetsuit, a alarm, it could be absolutely anything and they rotate that stock out and you may never see it again. 
You'll see it one day and then you'll never see it for the rest of your life. So it's an interesting experience. And then at the end you queue up for what seems like 7,000 hours. They now have those nice sheets up that you expect in the shower and um, so you don't sneeze on the person next to you and then they will literally throw the things at you and expect you not to bag. You'll have to then take your trolley full of paid items to the end where you have to bag it yourself at the, at the side, like some sort of animal. But I want to pack it at the, t at the till, mate. Slow it down. But they have targets. They have targets. But There we go. There's a brief explanation of what a supermarket is. <laughs> Why did I do that? You'll all be very pleased to hear that Basil gets to join in on this wee con. Don't you, little boy? Because we do, in fact, have Aldi cat food. Oh, he doesn't seem impressed. Well, we'll see. You haven't got much choice unless you want to go hungry. Well, I've spent the morning doing a bit of work, doing a bit of this, a bit of that, and I'm now... Actually, I'm not hungry. That's such a knee-jerk thing for me to say, but I've had three big, fat sausage bacon and egg sandwiches, haven't I? They were very, very nice, but I am starting to feel a little hungry now. It is... It's gone one o'clock, so this is a late lunch for me, but it's time to tuck in. I'm looking forward to it. I, I've, I'm hopeful for this week. They do a lot of nice food at Aldi. I'm excited. Well, because breakfast was the largest packet sandwich ever created, something a little lighter for lunch. How about a cheese layered pasta salad? Eat and go. So I'm going to eat this, then I'm going to go. I don't know where I'm going to go, but we'll find out along the way. Look at that. That's efficiency. It's pre-opened on my behalf. Right, let's try a little bit of uh, layered cheese pasta salad. Mmm. Whoa, that's cheesy. Whoa. Good grief. What sort of... Oh, this is going to be messy. What sort of cheese is in there? Oh. Mm. Marinated cooked pasta, iceberg lettuce, Diced cucumber, mature cheddar, and red Leicester. Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, that's really nice. Mmm. Certainly not light, is it, with all this pasta, but... Yeah, superb. Mmm. So cheesy. I can still taste cheese. Every time I burp, I get a strong whiff of cheddar. Wafting up from the back of my throat. It's delightful, he lied. Yeah, it's not very nice. It is repeating on me a little bit. But it has kept me full. So my giant sandwich and my salad have kept me full. Huzzah! Things are going well already in this week on. So I'm going to do some work. I've got a big uh, final end of year project to do for uni. Joy, at least it's not an essay. So thank God for that. So I'm going to crack on with that. And then I'm going to think about what's uh, for dinner. Also, ignore the fact that FIFA's there. I may have had a game of that. And you can see my current season as well. Lots of losses, few wins. I'm shameful. Right, for dinner this evening, we're going across the Atlantic to have some quick and easy chicken vaginas. Smoky barbecue, to be exact. And yes, I know before you write the comments, it's fajitas. This kit contains tortilla, tomato salsa, Smoky barbecue fajita seasoning. That makes it look like a lot more, whereas actually it's three things. So we need chicken, peppers, and onion. And funnily enough, we have chicken. Ugh, I'm not prepared. Peppers and onion. And then we're going to also throw in, for good measure, cheese and sour cream. Because you can't have fajitas without cheese and sour cream. Just basically turns into a burrito. But that's fine. I'm looking forward to it. It's one of our favourites anyway normally, isn't it, Gracie? Yeah, so we are going to try this the Aldi way today. Right, let's get cracking. Veggies are prepped. We're also just going to have a little bit of rice. Golden vegetable rice, to be exact. This stuff's very nice. We have had this one before. Just looking at the back, see, just to prove it's Aldi. Aldi logo on there. They hide their logo on all of the products, just uh, randomly... They don't scream about it. There it is. So it's all their own packaged stuff. And uh, how's the chicken getting along? Getting there. Very good. The heat's on. So we'll crack on with cooking. In the chicken goes. Sizzle! We did it! We timed it right. That's a lot of chicken. <laughs> Next up, 
the veggies. Put them in a second because then we want to cook them through um, but still have a bit of crunch to them. A bit of texture you see. And finally in goes the smoky barbecue seasoning. It's very smoky. Ooh, yeah. It smells good. <coughs> Rice done. Fajita chicken mix done. Let's serve it up. Look at this feast. Oh my word. That looks cracking. It smells incredible. What's this? Salad. Salad, salad, though. I didn't, I didn't show that, did I? Oh, well, that is an Aldi salad, so it's, it's all good. Right. Let's chow down, because this is making me hungry. Right. Let's build a fajita. Bit of sour cream. Lovely job. Then some chicken that I've got on the table. A bit more. I love how you managed to get it in between the placemats, which oh, are no. there to protect. It's, it's a talent, isn't it? Mm. Quite a talent. Um, I don't have a big enough spoon for this, but let's put a bit of rice in. This is controversial. No, rice, it's a burrito. Yeah, rice doesn't really go in for heat, does it? Can't wait to hear the doing it wrong comments, but that's fine because it's delicious. You have fajitas however you want them. I do. A bit of cheese. <laughs> Lovely bit of cheese. Right. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. I'm excited. Mmm. Oh, we've not had actual sour cream for ages. Lovely. And sour, funnily enough. Chicken, very nice. Cheese, lovely. Rice, delicious. That tortilla is nice and, um, I want to say gummy, but in a good way. It's like chewy. Stodge. Mm. Is it smoky? Is it spicy? It's not super smoky. There's a tiny bit of smokiness there, but it's not the dominant flavour. It's kind of like the, the barbecue sweetness rather than the smokiness, but it is delicious. So, uh, you're just going to sit there and film me while I eat this whole thing, yeah? Sure. Oh, I am so full. That was blumming lovely. So, let's see if we can top it, eh? With a raspberry sundae. Layered dessert of vanilla mousse swirled with raspberry sauce, raspberry jelly, plain sponge, raspberry mousse, finished with fresh cream. Blimey. Look at that. Ooh, it's, looks like it's deflated a little bit. All right, let's crack it open. Hmm, maybe not. Because this smells not a little bit off, but a lot off. Smells a bit funny, doesn't it? it smells very funky. <laughs> so we're going to leave that there, and instead, thankfully, we got two desserts. So this is a melt in the middle salted caramel pudding, and not only that, we're going to have. You chose this, didn't you? Yeah. Clotted I did. cream. Is this the <laughs> baddest type of cream for you? Hot. Hopefully, that's not gone off. It's the but baddest, but it's the best. Is it? Yeah. There's a little sneaky Aldi logo hiding on the back. So, uh, what, do we microwave these things? Yes, we do. 35 seconds. Right. Time to get blisteringly hot molten caramel puddings. Right, so this one's had 35 seconds. Oh God. There's your quenelle of clotted cream. Shall we try it? Mm. Shall we crack it open? I want this to melt in the... Oh, look at that. Right. That's a lot of clotted cream. Let's try it. Let's try it. I'm trying to concentrate on film. Ooh, let's try it. <sighs> wow. Wow. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh, you don't want it, shall I? Have Get it? off. It goes really, really well, to be fair, with that clotted cream, which is almost buttery. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Good. I'm gonna have that's, that's lovely, that. Lovely, that. Oh, Basil. Oh, little cat. <gasps> what are you doing? <gasps> Chocolate. Yeah. You're baking again. Yeah, what's wrong with that? I you like baking. Always, yeah, but you bake when I'm doing a week on. I so I'm not gonna bake. Be able to... I don't just bake when you do a week on. <sighs> Basil, come on. We're going. Pack your bags. We're off. No, he's staying. He's going nowhere, is he? Oh, that was good. It was like having 
a hot, liquidised Werther's Original with uh, butter on the side. Absolutely <laughs> delicious. So now, I'm going to play a little bit of Fall Guys with Guru Larry on my Twitch channel. So I regularly do video game streams, so if you want to get in on that action, all the links are in the description. Come and join the party! This game is ridiculous. Pardon? What's the matter? Well, it's nice to see you too, eh? Yes. I'm going to film my conclusion for the day, Basil. So you're welcome to join me. Oh, but, as I say, that was day one of a week on Aldi. And it's a pretty good start. It's a pretty good start. Where are you? I can hear you. Yeah. So, uh, breakfast was my big fat sandwich, which was lovely. Incredibly filling, though. Uh, my lunch was my pasta salad. Very nice. Also actually quite filling, surprisingly. Um, and then my dinner was the uh, fajitas. Absolutely lovely. Very much enjoyed, although they weren't really fajitas, where they had rice in them and cheese. And they were basically burritos. Open-ended burritos. But I very much enjoyed them. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Um, and then my dodgy trifle, which had today's date on it. Which, um, yeah, hmm, bit dodge, but those uh, salted caramel melt in the middle puds with the clotted cream was. Mm mm mm. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Very nice. Just basically liquid uh, um, Werther's Originals, which is a very nice thing indeed. Very, very nice. Also, had a really good time streaming Fall Guys with Guru Larry. He won four times, and I won zero. So. Check me out on Twitch. Links are in the description. Surely you want to watch a streamer lose over and over. I'm very good, honest. Please support the show. It's, face, it's, it's all I have now. But thank you very much for watching. That was day one of a week on Aldi. It's been fun. I've enjoyed myself. I'm hopeful this is going to be a very good week. Aldi do some interesting products. And we will get to them all very soon. Hmm, so if you want to see how the rest of the week goes, please do like the video, please share, please support as and how and choose when you want to. There's a Patreon, you can watch the rest of the week on early if you support for as little as $1 per month. There's the Twitch channel, links below, or you can just subscribe, like, follow on social media, all the links are below. But it's been fun, so thank you very much for watching. Where's that cat? Where's he gone? Oh, there he is, look. Look at that little loafy boy. If you don't subscribe for me, subscribe for him. See? He's showing you his butt and everything.